Jermaine Farrell here. It is the Hardee's Friday Night Blitz. We're getting you ready for the 2024 season. And joining me right now, we're going to take a trip to Southwest Roanoke County and the Hidden Valley Titans under the guidance of their head coach and athletic director. We're going to give all the titles in his 16th season as the head man. Yes, sir. At Hidden Valley. Good coach to be Scott here. Scott Weaver, how you doing, sir? Good. Good deal. Well, coach, first of all, last year, a tough one for you. Mm -hmm. Went one and nine. Yep. Uh, some tough games here and there could have went out of the way, but overall, what are you guys were taking out of that experience to help you for this year? You know, obviously after last year, we, we weren't pleased with, uh, with our performances and, you know, we just were not living up to the expectation that in the, the 22 years at, at Hidden Valley, both with, with J.R. Edwards and then myself, the expectation that we have is, is to compete, to win, to be in the playoffs and to, and to keep moving on. Um, and I think our kids really took that into into this off season, um, and we've had a great off season. And we're looking forward to getting back to that standard. So, when you, when you look at you know your team as a whole, how many guys starters you got coming back on both sides of the ball, mm -hmm. and who are some of the guys we should have our eyes on as we get ready for the season? Uh, we've been back twelve starters, um, five on offense, seven on defense. So you know we're expecting. Uh, offensively, we have, have a little learning curve through camp, and, and we had it through spring ball. Obviously, new, new quarterbacks and receivers, but we bring back three linemen. Um, you know, we bring back our tailback. We bring back our tight end. Uh, so we have, the for our offense, the functional pieces in place to be successful. Uh, and then defensively, we've just got to, uh, you know, we, we played really well in stints. We just got to get off the field on third down. We get off the field on third down. A lot of those games could end up differently for us. You know, you mentioned the tradition and the standard of success that you've had at Hidden Valley, but how do you stress that to them and say, hey, we, we got to do these things to get stronger, better, or do you change your approach, or how do you attack the fact that, you know, you want things to go a certain direction for you guys to be successful? You know, our, our standard is, is our standard, um, and for one reason or another, we didn't live up to that expectation last year, and we just continue to, to focus on the details of what has made us successful you know, really the last two decades um, and just nose to the grindstone and get back at it. Interesting thing about off-season preparation. I remember growing up as a kid, you know, you pretty much didn't see your coach until fall camp started. But mm -hmm. now, I mean, with the year round and all that, you know, Florida, Texas, California, a lot of states, they do that. How big and how helpful has it been? Because on day one, it's not like you have to point out what the play is. They should know everything for the most part by day one. It, it's huge, you know, we, we take December off and then you know we get back after it in January, but you know, our, our, our school is not nearly as big as it used to be. Um, and I would say this, this past spring, we had about 85% of our football team in a spring sport. So we were running liftings in the mornings, afternoons, we were finding times um, to just to get our kids in there and continue to get them stronger. But we, we love promoting multiple sports. We love, you know, that wide receiver to be the shooting guard, to be the center fielder, the shortstop, um, run the 100 on the track team. Uh, so, you know, we, we want well-rounded student athletes at Hidden Valley. Um, we just get very creative with how to get them in because, you know, we, we still had five spring practices. We had two seven on sevens. You know, we have 82 all-season weightliftings. Um, it really doesn't stop and it takes a level of commitment now that uh, to be a football player, it it's hard, um, and I think it's it's a good hard to teach these kids valuable life skills, you know, as they become adults. So, Coach, over your time, you've been doing this for a minute, you know, as a head coach here at Hidden Valley, you've been coaching in general for years. How do you feel you've changed or maybe grown as a coach? Because I'm sure some of your players that you coached your first year probably look at yeah. you now a little bit differently. Yeah, I, you know, um, I, I was fortunate. I played for for the great Jim Hickam and. And you know, I'm sure when you get Coach Fisher in here, he, he, he could tell some stories too. And his version of coach and my version of coach were probably different. And the kids five years after me were probably different. Um, you know, as, as an educator and as a coach, you, you monitor and adjust to your student athletes. And, and every group is different to motivate um, and get them to where they wanna go. And so you just adjust with the kids that you have. And if you don't, um, I don't think you're giving yourself the, the most opportunity to be successful. Yeah. How much fun is it to, to see when your players have the success and, and they grow as a team? How satisfying or how fun is it for you to see that in your program? Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. 
um, the, the best part of this job is when, when kids go off and, and they go to college and they play or they don't play, but when they come home for Christmas break or you get that wedding invitation, um, or, you know, hey, coach, I'm in town, you want to go out to dinner. That, that's, that's kind of the stuff that, that is the really cool part of, of, of being a football coach is the relationships are there that are built to last a lifetime, and that's the type of environment we hope to foster at Hidden Valley. So at the end of the day, coach, what mm -hmm. is it going to take for the Hidden Valley Titans to have the season you expect and have success? We just want to compete. We, uh, you know, obviously in the River Ridge district schedule is, is brutal. Um, you know, we're the third smallest 3A school. Uh, our out of district is, is no cupcake either, but, but our kids have shown perennially that, that we can compete and we can win those games. Um, and I feel like our kids have, have had a really good off season and that we are, we are going to, to do what we need to do to compete in those games and to be successful. And hopefully that ends with us continuing off into the playoffs because we, we don't miss the playoffs often. Um, and when we missed them last year, that, that really stung. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to do the math. Is this this the 25th year of Hidden Valley High School? Because it started in 2000, right? Uh, that is 2001. 2001, okay. I'm, I, th I'm I, think, I think Coach Magenbauer was there for, for two years. Right. And then I was there with Coach Edwards for five. That's right. Um, and then this is year 16 for there me, so go. 21. There you go. It's good arithmetic. But is it, is it, I guess the, the overall question is, I mean, even though the program has been around nearly for a quarter of a, the school and the program itself, is it just neat to see, even in this 25-year span roughly, just the growth and the success that, that all the teams have had, mm -hmm. not only just football, but just all of them, just the growth of that Hidden Valley community because now it just seems like, oh, Hidden Valley feels like it's been around longer than it has. Mm -hmm. But like in the early days, it was just, oh, Hidden Valley just started. But now it's like, it's, you know, it's there. We have a, a, a rich athletic tradition, both both football and in general. Um, you know, we've put in the, the time that I've been there, we've put almost 70 kids to the next level playing, um, whether that's Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three. Uh, you you walk through and come to our gym. Our, our trophy case with region and state trophies can can rival anybody around, and it's a athletic history that certainly in Southwest County we're proud of, and we want to continue to build on. Well, with you running the show as the AD and the head football coach, I'm sure that's going to happen. One day at a time. <laughs> what a go one and zero, right? Yes, sir. Yes, right. You're the man. Right. And of course, thank you. This is Scott Weaver, the head football coach of the Hidden Valley Titans. They get the season started at home, taking on the William Fleming Colonels. That'll be near the end of August. But that is the Hardy's Friday Night Blitz Media Days. We're getting ready for the 2024 season as we look at the Hidden Valley Titans. Chris C H R I S Harmon H A R M O N. Where you go to school? Hidden Valley High School. And what year in school are you? Uh, upcoming senior. Okay. And what's your position? Uh, left tackle and defensive tackle. Awesome. You said 2025, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm. What's it like going into your senior year? How does that feel? Um, a little weird, to be honest. Like, it's almost over, and it doesn't feel like it. What has this journey kind of been like for you personally? Um, it feels like it's flown by. It feels like I was just starting as a freshman and now I'm going into my senior year. And the fact that you guys are, you know, looking to kind of fill last year in the back, but on the back burner, how do you personally look to build on top of what you guys did not see last year, but at least build it towards the future? Um, I feel like we're coming in with a whole different mindset and our leaders are coming in and trying to lead the younger ones, unlike last year, where it seemed like our leaders didn't care as much to help out the younger kids. What are you kind of looking to do? How do you look to coach some of these younger guns up and try to get them on your level? Just talk to them, make them feel like they're part of the team, and uh, keep their energy high, because that's, that's one of the things why we were not as good last year. It's because of the energy level and the amount of effort that our seniors brought. Did you feel kind of like last year during games? And I know I saw some times where did you guys feel like you ran out of steam and, and the yeah. motivation wasn't there at, at the yeah. same time? Is that kind of like what it was for you that guys? That and that our seniors would just fall down on each other. We had no one building each other up. If one person messed up, it was his fault, which it should have been the whole team's fault. Gotcha. And, you know, how do you look to rectify that this year, especially with Coach Weaver at the helm? I mean, we know exactly – 
preaches a, a certain caliber of excellence. So, I mean, what is it that you look to bring to the table for that? I mean, just building, picking each other up off mistakes. Like, last year we had a huge center problem, and no one helped him. No one picked him up, and everyone just let him ride it out until finally he just had enough, and we had to move him. What's it, what's it kind of mean to get a chance to put your own spin on this program as a senior? To just bring energy, bring as much energy as I can. And what does Coach Weaver mean to you? He's definitely a role model, a person to look up to, someone who's had my back throughout the years. And what does it mean to you when you put that Titans jersey on there? It means a lot. Riding it out the past four years, and this being it, so. I know you guys. I know you personally have seen like the highs and lows of it all. Yeah. Um, I know we talk a lot about you know everyone wants to play for a chip. That's that's normal across the entire country. But okay. what is it that you would like to get out of this season, extra on top of playing for the chip or a spot in the playoffs or something like that? Um, to be remembered here as a good team. So it's all about leaving a legacy for you. Mm -hmm. How Pretty important much. is that for you to be able to kind of say, you know, this is what I did, this is the journey, you guys can take it or leave it? It's pretty important because the impact we leave will help the younger generation step up and Penn Valley to be a better team. And first and foremost, how does it feel just to kind of get back out there? I mean, you guys are going to be padded up. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very ready. Coach, you did great. Go out there and smack the mess out of you. <laughs> yes, sir. How are you looking to set the tone for this season? When week one against Fleming. That's, that, y'all really. They are driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, you know what it's going to take to go up against a squad like that. But, I mean, I think the thing is, and what we seem to be hearing right here, is we need to be afraid of y'all. Is that what it is? Yes, sir. Uh, speak a little bit about that first matchup and what you guys are looking forward to. Coming out and smacking them in the mouth. <laughs> Mic drop. Mic drop. Charles, you better take that one for me thing now. Appreciate it. Oh, don't shoot me. That's the motivation for the grip behind me. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, how much fun are you also looking to have this season? I know we talk about the seriousness of it all, but how much fun are you looking to kind of ride this out with your guys? A lot. It's our last ride as senior, so we're looking to have a lot of fun. Good team. You got something? Just one thing. Um, obviously, it takes a lot for a team to bounce back, especially having, you know, that rough of a season. But then, what's what's the new mindset? Um, what what brought you coming back, especially after last season? Um, <laughs> like obviously, you have a goal to set. Oh, yeah. looking for like what is kind of like that. We want to have a winning record and come in and make the playoffs. I think that's my main goal. And you know how hard it's going to take to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think we can do it. I think with the people we have this year and the team we have, we have a good chance. Did y'all lose a lot of people? What's it look like on returning on both sides? We have a lot of returning starters. I think 12, seven on offense and five on defense. Oh, so y'all pretty set then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. K-O-H-E-N, Cohen. White Neck, W H I T E N A C K. All right, where do you go to school? Hidden Valley. Okay, what's your position? Tight end and middle linebacker. Awesome, so awesome. What game school are you? Uh, I'm, a, I'm coming up sophomore, uh, senior. Okay, cool. I was like, you're a little young. Yeah, no, my fault, my bad, my bad. <laughs> That's all good. You graduate 2025. Yes, sir. Sounds good. All right, well, Cohen, first and foremost, uh, you guys are back at it. Hidden Valley. Sir. I know last season didn't necessarily go the way you guys really wanted no, it to sir. go. I think that's very unlike a Hidden Valley. Yes, sir. The program. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> um, from the Dragoviches of the world mm -hmm. and all of that. Yes, sir. It's very un, un, you know, how do you kind of look to build on top of last season and really kind of move this thing forward? See, uh, the, the group of leaders we got this year is uh, completely different than last year. I think uh, me, Chris, uh, Izzy, my boy Zay, Jafon, I think we're all ready. I think we're all capable of pulling out uh, a, a winnable season, more than one game. Hopefully, uh, make it to playoffs. Just trying to trying to do good. And what was it, I guess, about last season? Was it kind of just, it's just having the, the la lack, lack of effort? I mean, it's just like I mean, 
ha have people showing up to practice, just ha half doing their stuff, not doing the full 100%, just, it just happening. But What does Coach Beaver kind of talk to you about? I know that's not – Coach yeah. Beaver style. Either. So, uh, yes, you know, sir. I know he's he's been he, here for he, a minute. So this whole off he's, season, he's been he's been on our tail, on us, just working, 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 just show him. Just he just wants us to show up, just give us effort, hundred percent every time we're there, all day, just every day. Just how are you looking to kind of set the tone of things? We come out with a win against Fleming, first home game, beat Fleming. And you know, what does it mean to you when you put that Titans jersey on now? It means it means everything to me. It, across my chest, the T. That's what I represent. There's been a ton of guys who have gone through this program. Some guys yes, like Jerry Reuters. You know, you, you yes, name a um, specific tight end that I remember. Kelly uh, Mitchell. <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly. That's my boy. Well, for you, being a part of this program, what has it kind of meant so far? And looking back at this journey, what has it kind of been like? I mean, I've been I've been on starting uh, varsity since I was a freshman. So I I think becoming a man this this whole like varsity experience is, is really like just it pushed me up and just like been able to explore the world and like see everything and just like show my options out there and just see that like not one thing because you got plenty more doors that open up. Just keep working. And Amanda, you said kind of one of the things was kind of trying to wrangle some of these young guns. Yes. Trying to get them under control. How yes, have sir. you kind of been putting your foot down and being like, guys, get it together? In that locker room. And that, it starts out in that locker room. You, the leaders just have to take care, have to make sure none of, none of shenanigans, none of goofing off, all that got to be, if there's a, time, there's a time and a place, football in that locker room is not one. Senior years on the squad, one of the elder statesmen. I mean, what does it mean to you to kind of be put into that position? And it feels like you you like the pressure. Yes, sir. No pressure, no diamonds, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, always. That kind of always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, I, my whole life, I've been dealt with pressure. It's my whole life, but I, I love it. I mean, that, that's just my that's, that's my that's my core. That's my power just to go, keep on going. And what does Coach Weaver mean to you? He, he's he, that, that's a father figure to me. Uh, he's he's there for me whenever I need to talk to him, whenever I need to ask him a question. He's just like, he's always there, and he'll always be, like, real with me. He'll never just, like, be beat around the bush. He'll always keep it 100 with me. Is it going to be kind of weird that, you know, you'll be running through the right. gate, kind of the, the, the Volvo and some of your <laughs> first, last time? You know yes, sir. I mean? Yes, sir. That is, it's it's going to hit me. It, it definitely is. That last home game is, is definitely going to come. But I'm just hoping there's more to come after this. And I guess just in terms of what you're looking forward to this this season and what you're looking from this season, yes, sir. Um, wh what are you looking forward to? I guess. I mean, well, we're having uh, seven, I'd say, seven starters come back on offense, five on defense. So I mean, I just I want us to come out with at least more than more than one win, more than two wins, at least make it to playoffs and just show show what we got with that. What would it mean to you if you guys were able to kind of progress and kind of the last season in the back and? Kind of start something start. new to build on top of something fresh. That'd be amazing. It would just be something different. Just that. I mean, that's what we're all just been trying to do. We're all just been fighting together, just trying to pull out together and stay in that weight room and get bigger. Cool yes, sir. What you got? Yeah. <laughs> um, I just got like two questions. You kind of already touched base on this, but obviously you having that one nine two win. Yes, ma'am. I mean, for like for other teams, if they see y'all on the schedule, they're like, oh, you yeah. know what they did last like, year. Like you know, like tell me a little bit about that competition that. You're hoping for that yeah. turnaround season. See, our coaches, that, that's that's one thing they'd be honest about all the time. They'd be like, y'all see that whenever they see our schedule on the name, they know y'all soft. They know they're not going to come out with none of that. But when, when they see us on that field, it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot different. How's it been in the offseason for y'all? It's, it's been amazing. We've had a lot better numbers than we had before. The weight room numbers have gone up crazy. And it's just, I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready. Good. <laughs>